I'm not your average show. I can be doing the most. Look at my wrist as a note. Ask your bitch where did she go? She lands, so don't ask her no more. Big wave over you niggas can float. Big motor car, I bought a boat. I get away off in the ocean. You get in the way, it's a call. It's good that you got a few photos. I just wanna buy you Jordans. <laughs> Then I'll be casket sharp Skeleton out of your closet And have all of your homeboys mad when they find out I shot It's a lot of niggas like me But them niggas ain't me Bitch, I'm drinking like a thousand At the club, popping bottles up in VIP Bitch, I'm drinking like a thousand Bad bitches all around me And they focus on me Bitch, I'm drinking like a thousand what a day it'll be when they stop hating on me It's a vision I am not saying Yeah You know what? Snapchat should scream, motherfuckers This motherfucking bitch gonna I started following that bitch And um I should've known What the motherfucker I was going through Like, oh, she's showing a naked bitch And the motherfucker gonna have me Can I, can, am I going to be cash having her some money to do live FaceTime and the videos and all that to see this and that? Hell no, bitch. I'm just doing that shit. Shit, go to X videos. I guess you better delete me. Shit, I ain't even saying, I'm just like this one chick on top. I'm just liking the pictures. I'm thinking, oh, she do have, oh, she fine, and she pretty. Oh, you want to send me $2 for a show? $2? $2? Bitch, she got a $2 bill. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you for something. I don't know. I'm gonna ask him something. Being a barber, what you talk about ain't scripted. You know what I'm saying? You gotta beat the person and, and, and go from there. I do wonder what was the craziest thing. Because it dance took over like the literary slide. I wonder what the craziest thing that happened to him at a show. He won't believe the craziest thing that happened to me. You know the crazy thing that happened to me? He gonna call the girl and I ain't put on glass. But I was in there cutting my partner hell. Al Burke. Lonzo. I'm in there cutting his hair and I had on some... I had on some gym shorts just like these. I'm in there cutting his hair. And she walked straight in. Came up to the chill. She spoke. She was respectable. She spoke. And came and took my dick out. Stuck it in the frosting. It starts. For ever since then, we've been calling that bitch frosting. She came in. Took my shit. Stuck it in the frosting. And then my partner looked back like, I know she. Nigga turn around. I gotta stop cutting your hair. But she finna finish this right here, right now. Man. I don't think that's the craziest. I had one chick. Seen a home girl came back, tapped on the glass. She then went up to the front and bought a shower. She told me to come to the shower. I hit, and I hit it raw. I ain't gonna lie to you. Fuck that. You living on the edge, but man, I, I, oh my God. I had to hit that raw. My mama gonna kill. 
Y'all catching it live. Y'all pick a good day to be here, man. So we in here working. If uh, bleep out all my curse words when I mess up, then uh, we're going to have a good time. We're not bleeping out curse words. I will say shit quick. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I must have sang this song at least over a hundred thousand times in my life. Yeah. Come before shuffle. This was the biggest song here. Yeah. 
Cause that's 2004, 2005. Yeah. Swing around the road, bro. That shit sounds good, though, bro. And you know we did that shit in 2004. I was transitioning from doing bounce music, dog. I was singing on bounce beats, you know, yeah. the club and stuff. Let me try to do some raw folks up. Yeah. Yeah, down. Man, I'm gonna tell you, you know, being on that part of the South, like over in Alabama, no. you'd be like, boy, them girls be out there twerking, but when you see that guy down, that Louisiana Alabama shit, boy, y'all put that shit on a whole nother level. It's different, man. Yeah, they, they on some, I don't know, I don't know if it's in the blood or in the, the water. I believe it is. <laughs> I just seen that uh the, the, the show on uh Netflix. Netflix. Yeah, that thing was pretty dope. Yeah, that they went back to the original because a lot of people don't know, mm -hmm. you know. So um, I had this one, and then I got one more. I gotta finish up called I Fell in Love with You at the Barbecue. So I I wrote that and recorded it and dropped it. Then I. I never put so I gave it to Mel Wayne. I just wanna say that. And Mel recorded it. <laughs> yeah. And then um, you know, since he passed and stuff, I'm gonna re-record it. And then yeah. you know. But yeah, man, so but Mel, when I when I went over to Malico, Mel was like, come here little woman. Yeah. Yeah. So I never ride a few Uh, I was being a wild ass teenager. Then my little brother was young, cause she was like, "Oh, I have a chance to go on the road." I was like, "Shit, go, go, go!" Yeah. She was like, "Oh no, you're a bad ass." She was like, <laughs> "You just responded yeah. to that all wrong." Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. That's all you. So his brother, Mr. Fat, Mr. Fat on the track. That's who produced the Cupid Shuffle. Mm -hmm. Produced "Do With Your Boots On" all of them songs. Like, so I record the songs, but I'm not good at like. Thinking about other stuff, so he like the other half of my brain. Yeah, so yeah. I'll say, here's the songs. Yeah, you put them in the best order, yeah. whatever, because he know how to make an album. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he got that ear, man. He he can record. You know, nobody record me but him. Hey, it's really good to have somebody like that on your team, though. Know? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good to have somebody like that on your team. Oh, yeah, they not a yes man. I was, I was just gonna say yes that. Man. Ain't no yes man. No. He be like, hey, bro, look. This all I drop, but shuffle is like my golden key. Yeah. Any door, yeah. Yeah. Like anywhere in the world. Just like that, shuffle, dude. Just like oh. that, let me slide. Yeah. Listening to the radio, stealing stuff, going back to the A and all the places, and taking turns and little things like that. But we ain't had no machine out here. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, y'all gonna steal this dance? So I'm gonna name it Cupid Shuffle. Yeah. yeah. I mean, after you sell a million, I'm coming. Come, let me, let me get, get me. me. <laughs> That's I named I named after myself. Yes, sir. And um, and man, you know, it was just a plan and it worked, bro. So, but this one right here, 
this is all songs that if a Louisiana person is in Alabama, mm -hmm. they're going to start jumping crazy. Because they're oh, like, yeah, yeah this, this is what we listen to at home, mm -hmm. but I didn't have the platform. And the major label didn't want to put this out. Yeah. So they were like, no, we want you to do some new pop stuff. I'm like, God, it's my people. Yeah. But now I get to say, oh, oh yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Re-record and keep it jamming, because they'll tell you, we perform this in the Southern Soul Market. But the national people don't. Oh, you, oh, you a Bama fan? Yeah, that's why I ain't wearing no Alabama shit. I'm sorry, boy. I want to apologize on the behalf of the... Oh, my head. Oh, my head. Oh. Wait, man, look, bro. Y'all beat us a hundred dollars a time. Yeah, but it's the way y'all beat us this year, though. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know. Y'all had to get some kids back. We had to get some get back. We got that get back this year. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't go to the Bama game, but I went to the Georgia game yeah. in Atlanta. So oh, that was that. Oh, hey, y'all fall down. I went to that, and I went to the national championship. Yeah. Man, I, 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 my boy's just recovering now from all that. Yeah. <laughs> What's that y'all be saying? The only bet, huh? What's that? It's like a sound y'all be doing. What's it? Hey, oh, talking out the side of your neck. That song, you might have heard that song. I can't sing the real words that they sing. <laughs> but. Yeah, so you know, you know, it's all good, man. Like, I'm a, I'm a US star rated kid, but we rap, we rap that shit. Now, the bad part about that is, we can't do no better. Whatever we do next year is gonna be a, a downgrade. Hey, but so, hey, we'll let y'all get that one in, but you know, Nick Saban coach down here, so we gotta put this in. Hey, man, I ain't never seen Nick Saban that man. Ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't even lose that game. Yeah. On top of that, man, we, we play like shit. Person you see in that big yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what we do, man. We help other programs out. You know what I'm saying? In sales, titles, improvement. Yeah, man, that definitely boosts up the sales, though. Shoot. Yeah, man. Man. Then I'm gonna drop my album, my next album for my birthday. I got it every every other December 22nd. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. So it's like a Capricorn season. Maybe Capricorn too. Music as I used to, like I used to be in three, four times a week. Mm. But man, my, I got an 11 year old man. Yeah. And, um, so yeah, I'm so man. So I, we, I'm co I coach basketball, yeah, I coach football. Yeah. So I'm like during the week, I'm like at home <laughs> checking homework, making, making sure the cooking and stuff, man. You know what I mean? Like yeah. regular. But he young man, and like he went, he he went from one to 11 in like two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I try to. You know, give him everything he needs to when I send him to the jungle. Yeah, man. His head, right? So I can always get back full throttle on the music in the next five, six years. I'm still young, mm -hmm. but I be home a lot. Yeah. So that's why I said, when we come to record, we, you know, it's, it's it's like one of them, we come to record, we come to do this, and I gotta go home and pick him up from school. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So we play Alabama at least two, three, four times a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, I do know that Birmingham love line dances. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize till I went up, they be line dancing to anything. Yes, sir. <laughs> Webby. Yeah. What? You know, but um, so no, nah, man. I like, mean, like literally everything, man. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, and that's good for me because yeah, they line dance with Jesus is rocking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's been my problem my whole career after Cupid Shovel. Gospel. I can remake Amazing Grace. Yeah. How the line dance go? Yeah. For real. Everything I do, I can line dance. But at the same time, man, it's the lane God put me in, so I ain't tripping. 
as much. I get all kind of people, man, you need to sing more ballads. Cause you really could sing. I'd be like, yeah, I always got some on the album. Mm -hmm. But when you come to see me in concert, you ain't trying to, I'm like a music soul child, you know? <laughs> you know? You, they want to dance. Yeah. So yeah. if God put me in that lane after doing all this stuff, you gonna be the dude that make everybody dance. Why be defined? Right, right. You know, I'm gonna stick with that, but then I'm gonna just do other things with it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna actually be on Sister Circle on the 13th. Okay. Uh, in, uh, in Atlanta with, uh, you know, that little show with the Braxton chick and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that could be my first TV um, debut ever. But we've been selling it just, you know, through the fans and stuff. And uh, we got Vanessa Simmons on it, Denise mm -hmm. Boutte, Anthony Hamilton. Like, that, you know, that got product that like promoted on social media. So hey, I always like that Braxton sister too. I think that's true. Yeah. Mine. She ain't gonna be on them. I'ma tell her. I can, I can tell her. I can shoot it. Yeah. Get yeah. that jacket and now for those. Yeah. Sure you look. My dog want to give us. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull up to the studio next time with Trina and be like, man, what's up? I'm telling you, I would not be starstruck. So, do you have artists under your record label? So, I'm Fat. He, he's not here, but his brother is the um, CEO of the company. So, we have a group called Young Hub City. They're like a, a, they're a rap group. They who just clean, clean party music, rap music. Mm -hmm. um, we have them. Um, he's also releasing. Um, his wife, uh, Neva, she's a powerhouse singer. So she's, I know that's been hit the bulk of his business is completing her project. Mm -hmm. So um, he has her, and he's always looking for talent because he basically produced, I mean, from Scarface down to myself, down, I mean, he has, like, dude produ can produce from this type of music to trap music to anything you need. He's just a master producer, Very man. Helpful, yeah. And um, so, you know, y'all looking for other artists to work with. I mean, he's produced for, uh, she took the last three hits is all fat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, dog on um, uh, a bunch of like the lot, the, the local swing out guys and southern soul guys. You know, he he do all of that. So, you know, we um, he always looking. But these days, man, I personally don't bring nobody artists to him mm -hmm. until um. Like um they gotta prove themselves. Yeah, you gotta have some equity. Yeah. You gotta have some work. Yeah. Like. You can't be, like, being a, a good singer and a good rapper means absolutely nothing. Right. Like, what can, can have, have you made a presence of for yourself to where I can take your little bit of fans and add mm -hmm. to them rather yeah. than it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm so glad you said they that. They be coming, oh man, my dude, he can rap, okay. <laughs> he, he, what, what he got, he got yeah. Instagram? No. Yeah. Uh, he on YouTube? No. Right, right, right. You, right. you know? Can't, can't do nothing for you, man. So you gotta have something about you that makes somebody want to work with you. And mm -hmm. you know, we just don't always. You just don't stumble across them type of artists every day to yeah. just be signing them. You know, it's a diamond in a rough. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, we got I, a few here, but you know. Now I be telling some of my partners, man, back home, like, bro, you just can't pick up no shit and be like, oh man, I'm a rapper, but like, bro, like. Was shit. What what is you offer? You know what I'm saying? You can't come in saying and doing the same shit the last motherfucker did. You know what I'm saying? Like no. you can't do that, bro. When no. you go to these companies, they got to be like, well, shit. All right, well, damn, man. You, you got your to have, your own lock. Yeah, you, you need a to following. Have, yeah, yeah. You got a whole. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. image that people trend yeah. said, man. Yep. Yeah. I get it all the time. My daughter can sing. Okay. Cause even I'm gonna tell you, like even before, like when we first started, we come up in the talent show ranks. Mm -hmm. You couldn't wake up in the morning and be no rapper. I'm mm -hmm. saying it didn't work like that. You had to go to the colleges mm -hmm. and be in a talent show and not get booed. Right. And if you did get booed, that for help you perfect your craft. Right. Nowadays, cats wake up in the morning, they're a rapper. They don't have no kind of criteria. Mm -hmm. Music is the only one of the only occupations where you can wake up in the morning, music and preaching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can wake up in the morning yeah. and be like, God told me I won't be a preacher today. <laughs> I'm gonna preach to y'all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you don't need no license, you just go do mm -hmm. revivals. Yeah. Music is the same way. They they wake up in the morning, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a blues artist. Yeah. Like you show, yeah, and then bro. you get to them wolves, cause them wolves is the audience. Yeah. You pull up to them wolves, see what the wolves gonna do. Yeah. You know that. <laughs> I need song high. Like I can't do it. Mm. You gotta be able to get up there and work, man. They just they just don't have no kind of like football players. You gotta go to training camp. They don't have no training camp for this. Mm. So mm. that's why it's so saturated, and that's why just talent don't cut it. Right. You know. You right. know. But um, you got a few. You got a few that's out there. That, that's that's. Pushing and doing their thing that I respect. Okay. I, 
you know. You think it'll be good to like, uh, like say for instance, like what what we are like in over in Alabama. You think it'll be good to like to have some a certain type of program to try to help those cats out. But but a lot of them don't want to listen. I'm, let me tell you. You know I'm what I'm about to be gangster, dog. Man, don't help nobody out there don't want to be helped. Yeah. I tell people all the time, I'm not coming to save you. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to want to do this. Right. So, if you're not asking questions about how to get, how to do the music, how to do, you know, this, that, and the other, I'm not finna baby fire you because here's right. what happens. You, you baby fire, right? Mm -hmm. You put them on, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Then the money start coming. Mm hmm now you got an uneducated person, a person that's uneducated in their craft Maybe with not. money. Yeah, yeah. Now you can't tell them that I'm the reason why you got that because I'm the brain because they got money now. Mm -hmm. Now you creating a monster. Right. Then when you turn them loose and let them go, they can't fend for themselves. And yeah. you know what the first thing they say? You. You messed over. Yeah, yeah. You, so no, yeah. no, no. Let me teach you what to do and see what you're going to do on that rap. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pacifying nobody. Yeah. If you want to learn, come ask me. But we're not going to open up no school of music for the people who don't want to do it. Because to me, that's an exclusive That's an exclusive sorority or fraternity. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't do it. Right. You know, you ain't got to ask no NFL player every morning. Come work out. Right. Come come do your drills. Right. They go Boy, out there hitting it. Mm -hmm. So it's the same with music, man. If they want to know, absolutely give them the information. Yeah. But man, uh, and all that, hey guys. I'm gonna teach you all about the music business and your publishing and all your rights. Yeah. Wow. And then this is the thing that get me mad. Like where I'm, where I'm from, man, them cats, they feel like, oh, I can put some guns in the video, smoke some weed, throw some shit on YouTube. <laughs> and they, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, and, and, and it goes back to what you were saying about the image, man, your message, you, you know, that 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 it that you put in there, man. Like, like, man, I, and, I, and, and, and let's keep it 100. It's some. Rappers, I mean, there's rap dudes that want to see guns. They mm -hmm. think that's an audience for that. Mm -hmm. Dude can tell you percussion for that at right. times too. Right. So you can't be froggy when <laughs> yeah. when it really goes yeah. down and you yeah. you know you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it is what it is. It's, 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 I tell people it's no different than making a movie. Al Pacino plays Scarface, right? Mm -hmm. If you see Al Pacino on the streets, you know he ain't got a big old handful of dope mm -hmm. and no guns, but he played that. Mm -hmm. So with the music, there's some guys who actually move, move around like that who want music like that, and that's respectable. Yeah, That's respected. I ain't mad at that because I'm not telling you not to go do what you do. Boosie's mm -hmm. the perfect example. Boosie make music for the streets. That's what he does. And you can't, I can't tell you, oh, Boosie, make a song for... The, the kids in third grade. That's not what he do. Mm -hmm. And he ha clearly has an audience that loves that. Yeah. To each his own. Everybody not built to be no gospel rapper. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, you got to know what it, it come with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what it is? Because there's real gangsters out there mm -hmm. that don't rap. Mm -hmm. And they like, oh, that, oh, for real? Yeah. All yeah. right, let's see. So, you know, it. I'm, I'm, I used to be one of them Knock that used to knock music and knock this and knock that. Now my thing is everything got an audience, man. I I can take my girl to go see Tyler Perry. I can take my girl to go see a goon movie. Mm -hmm. The actors in the movie is not that's not what they do, right? You know, but it's just like we making movies without the camera. This music is just it just takes mm -hmm. you there where you visualize yourself. But you know, for the youngsters, man, that ain't always the the, the successful. Path mm -hmm. and it comes with consequences. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta go to them clubs where the goons at and perform mm -hmm. and not upset them. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, like I know, if you upset them, it's over with. You gotta get to your car. I'm telling you. <laughs> I choose to do this. <laughs> the only thing that I gotta deal with is cougars. Yeah. <laughs> chasing after me. You know, yeah. that's it, bro. I don't, hey, have, I don't have them kind of problems, man. I got to ask you, man. I got to ask you. What's like the craziest thing that happened to you while you was on stage? <sighs> craziest thing on stage? Oh God. I can tell you the craziest thing that ever happened to me. I was in Japan mm -hmm. and a chick in uh, in the VIP yeah. came in and started calling me Jesus. No. Yeah, I got it on video, bro. I was like, what? She's like, 
dance, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> and she just kept trying, like, yo, whoa, whoa. Yeah. It was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she called you the Messiah. Yeah, man. I'm like, wait, don't, don't give me that title. I don't. There's definitely not a title like, I hey, I'm far from that dude, bro. You know, but nah, man, I, I had that, man. I had a few stalkers. I, you know, got, yeah, got, got a yeah, bunch of them. Yeah. You know, that, you know, <laughs> they fall in love with you off the internet and that, and that'd be that. Mm -hmm. But, um, that, I mean, you know, Back in my old days, a few, few, you know, little underwear on, the cliche stuff, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, stuff like that. But um, yeah, the the, the Japanese chick that was definitely Man. something that messed my head up, bro. I was like, we in Okinawa, Japan, and true. You know, I I got a. Uh... My partner, man, Ocon, he's he stay up in Ohio now. Mm -hmm. But he was in the Air Force and he was over in uh Okinawa and he was telling me about over there, he was like, B, put that shit on your bucket list. Listen you know to what I'm saying? <laughs> man, there's a lot of cats don't come back and I'm not mad at him. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. It's different, bro. It's just different, just a different culture, different everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you used to go to where you watch them kung fu movies and you see them little slim little Japanese yeah. little ladies bowing, you be like, and then you get out to the club, you like, whoa, wait. Yeah, yeah. You Jap, you 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 black of these. Mm -hmm. Ain't just something I mean, right. You know, so they listening to all our music, doing all our dances, jamming, it's mm -hmm. it's different, man. But you know, um, you know, that that's all a, a blessing being able to travel and see, you know, that type of oh, stuff. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen, man, we went to Bahrain. I've seen a dude throw like almost, man, I've seen a dude throw about 50, man, 50, 60,000 and just our Iranian money, though. Just, just crazy stuff. Damn. Just for no reason. Just, um, we, I get, I do got a story, the craziest real story. We got kidnapped by the Russian mafia before. Wow. Yeah, but that's, that's about a 10 minute story. I'm just glad we're here to tell it, huh, dude? Man. Yeah. Hey. In Germany got kidnapped. Well not kidnapped. The dude booked us for a show, but we ended up being like all in like all kind of crazy stuff and Dang. booked us at the club that night. Somebody tried to rob him, shut the club down. They pulled the the electric thing out the club so all the lights shut off. Mm -hmm. Big old fight, me and my dog are under the table. Dang. Whatever, whatever, whatever. After the concert, long story short, he didn't pay us. Dang. So after the show they put us in a van. The van didn't have no seats to get to the airport because we didn't have no way to get to the airport. Yeah. It was in the van. Man didn't have no seats. Dude is doing 160 on the Autobahn with no seats, cuz. Damn. We slide in the back of the seat thing holding our bags. We get to the uh to the airport. I say, man, where my money at? Dude was, he didn't respond, so I grabbed him. Choking him. I say, man, give him my money. He said, you can kill me. You will not get any money from me. Shit. So they, they were gonna do something worse to us than what y'all were gonna do at the airport. Can't. So we tussling. We don't want to get arrested at the airport in the mm -hmm. airport. So they we tussling whatever whatever whatever. I let him go. Fab was like, man, let's go, man. You know whatever. We don't need the money. We get in there, and they they brought us they they they, they brought us. Um, we were so busy tussling, we missed mm -hmm. our flight. So when you in another country, bro, you know how when people from another country in the states and you be like teasing them or laughing at them. Mm -hmm. When you in another country, it's different when they don't understand you. So I'm telling them, man, we miss our flight. We miss our flight. They like <laughs> laughing at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They put us on a flight. They couldn't have no. They didn't have no more flights to the states. We have to fly to Amsterdam. Problem was they had a snowstorm in Amsterdam. Nah. So we get to Amsterdam. It's a snowstorm. Everybody, all the airports closed. They didn't have no hotels for us. So they put us in this cat in a castle. And it had no sheets, no blankets, nothing. With and, uh, and in Germany they don't have um, they don't have air conditioners and heaters. You just mm. open they just open the doors, you know what I mean? Mm. So snow flying through the thing, we sitting in there shivering, bro. The next morning, they gave you a, a, a ticket to get on the bus. But the problem was they had seven hundred people outside trying to get on one bus per hour to catch their flight. Wow. So his brother like six five, like three hundred yeah. pounds. He said, come on, bro. I grab his shirt. He just bust through all the people. Knocking people down, security. We like, man, we Americans, man. We trying to get back. We trying to get back. So they gave us the blues. Cause we were pushing people down, bro. Pushing mm -hmm. kids down. Anybody got in the way. Mm -hmm. got, got there. Finally got on the bus. Got us to the airport. They didn't want to let us on with our luggage. Mm -hmm. So we had to dump all the stuff we had got, like souvenir stuff, to get to Detroit. 
Daniel. Finally got to Detroit, bro. We was calling the embassy everything because we didn't have no. This is in 2008 and nine. They didn't have like the sophisticated cell phones. Yeah. So. Week, man, it, it was y'all. It was the worst. That man had us Damn. sitting on the floor eating pizza, man. Wow. People coming petting us like dogs, bro. Because no. they had never seen like black artists before. Wow. Boss said, "Y'all sit down and eat." He was like, "We don't want to eat." Boss threw that pizza at us. Eat. Wow. Then that, my boy, the other promoter who was out there was like, "He with the mafia, like, wow. just do what he say till y'all finish." Like, boom. So yeah, we got kidnapped by the Russian mafia, and Damn. we made it back, bro. True story. True story. Real to tell. Oh, listen, all these lyrics in here. You want to trip out on that the second verse? It's crazy. I just came for some chicken about a whole woman, goddamn. <laughs> Let me go get it in. It's a lot of niggas like me, but the niggas ain't me. Man, my whole left side. Whole left side. And I couldn't say that, I couldn't pronounce like sold L. I couldn't say nothing with it with the L. Couldn't do no runs. You know wow. your tongue gets real heavy. Cause I thought I was gonna be the same thing. But I had shows. Now, I, I, first of all, I can't tell nobody I got no show. Cause then these promoters gonna start, hey man, yeah. what's up? Mm -hmm. And then people when they know you have it, then they like, oh, everything you do, they want to see how your arm work. It ain't the same. So I couldn't say nothing. She fought through that man. It was my therapy. To be on stage, I couldn't yeah. shuffle. I stand up there like this. That's what happened with my mom, man. She had a stroke. You know what I'm saying? And I've been trying to tell like mom, man, you gotta you gotta start back practicing, man. Try to get your voice strong. You know what I'm saying? Sit around and, and, yeah. and try to pronounce words. Bro. I just bro, started saying. Man, you know? the two days after I had my stroke, I was in the shower, dog. Mm -hmm. And I tried to sing and it was just a flat note, bro. Mm -hmm. Bro, I started losing my mind. Yeah. I was like, God, come on. Mm. Not like this, not over no female. I, I get it. Yeah. I'm stressing over. I swear, I swear to God, after this, I'm not going to stress over it, but not like this. Yeah. Went to therapy, got my arm back right, and then I started pronouncing my word. But even still, like, you know, it took some time. I would cover it up. I just mm. wouldn't say certain things that I knew I couldn't say. Mm. And then after that, man, once I got it back, psh, man, I started drinking. Can you see my water? I got my water in there. My kid, mm. man, look, you can't give me these nothing bad. I'm, I work out every single day of the week, dog, because I don't take that jump for granted no more. Yeah. Man, I was too, when I when I had my stroke, I was two sixty. Mm -hmm. Well. I just sad, eating and sad, mm -hmm. going through a divorce. Like, why are you leaving? What are you doing? And shit, dog. So, but I'm saying, not, I not, might be I, sad. I might be sad. No, no, you good, you good. Because it ain't for, it ain't for it ain't for everybody, yeah. bro. Trust me. They got too much good food out here. Like my dog right here, man. He. He's slim as ever, bro. That dude eat more than all yeah. of us put together. Yeah, that high metabolism. Oh, it's a metabolism. I can So it ain't for everybody, but I, I just say that to say the music is, man, that's my therapy. When yeah. things get rough. Yeah. I mean, you need to plug in your Q Rovers while you're talking about Oh, that. yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. And we actually certifying trainers right now, too. So okay. we do certification. There's, a, there's a, a, a spot down here. We do certifications in the mall. But it's line dance aerobics. Yeah. All the people that do the line dance just kick the knees up higher. There's some yeah. jumpers in between, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, that what, that's pretty much what they do with the Zumba stuff. You know Same, it's the, it's the black. It's yeah, black. It's the black. Yeah, yeah. Yup, so, that, um, yeah, man, we got dope. that. We got that. So that's, that's, that's been going well, too, man. I got a, uh, a really good team that do that part, that, that just love fitness. Yeah. So I let them run with that, man. I, I dip in class every now and then, but they be killing me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm What's up? This is the one and only Cupid, aka Mr. I Can Make You Dance, man. And right now, you're checking in to the On Point Network. Make sure you stay on top of that, man, on Roku, Fire Stick. Any way you watch your TV, you can catch the On Point Network. Tune in, stay locked. That's what we do. New Cupid! It's a lot of niggas like me, but them niggas ain't me. Like a thousand. <laughs> At the club, popping bottles up in VIP. It's all around me and they focus on me. Bitch, I'm tripping like a faucet.